if some of you remember that uh, I mentioned in chapter three that Max Planck is a web guy, right? He is a really famous for it. Got uh, an equation for himself <laughs> right there, and got a uh, a constant after his name, this Planck constant. So 6.626 times 10 to negative 34th uh, joule second. Right, this joule and second. Okay, and uh, Max Planck relate the energy and frequency. If you uh, remember from um, the previous video, I said um, a wave that has high energy, it vibrate oscillate quickly. Right, high high energy, high frequency, low frequency, low in energy. So they are directly proportional. And uh, we have uh, another equation from previous video, uh, V uh, new. Oh, by the way, this is not V. Frequency is new. Uh, it's a Greek uh, letter, right? So new equal to C over lambda. Uh, we you can relate from these two equation combined. You can relate the energy to the wavelength. Okay. All right. Let's do this one together. So a beta carotene, which is the compound that make carrot orange. So you see, you're familiar with that, and uh, can absorb. Uh, visible light at 450 nanometer, uh, how much energy does the compound absorb? Okay, so what we get, so we have a wavelength, so we have plug wavelength in here. What you have to do is to find the energy. All right, so there are two steps in here, but you can do in in one step if, if, you, if you could. All right, all right, so I'm going to show you how do I do this. So <clears throat> we want to find the energy. Okay, and uh, so we need to know from this equation, if you want to find an energy, you need to know the value of Planck constant, which is constant, it's given right there, all right? And the uh, wave, uh, not wave, uh, frequency, right? But we don't have frequency, but we can find the frequency from this equation, and have this frequency right here, right? So I, I'm going to just plug in here real quick. So new equal to, equal to C over lambda. So I'm going to convert new right here to C over lambda, just the same thing, new equal to C over lambda, just plug in there, all right? Now, in this case, you need to know the Planck constant, the speed of light, which is also given, and add the uh, the wave uh, length, which is given, 450 nanometer. The rest just plug in, all right? H, the Planck constant, 6.626 uh, 626 times 10 negative 34. Don't forget the unit, joule, second, put the, put the unit in there. Uh, the um, speed of light, 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meter per second, put the unit in there as well. And lastly, the wavelength, which is given 450 nanometer, all right? Watch out the unit, you have to convert the unit here to a meter. And nano is 10 to negative nine. Ta-da, it's 10 to negative nine. Everything else the same, okay? So, <clears throat> uh, let's take a look at the unit. So we have meter, cancel of meter, second times per second, right? So cancel out, you will be left with joule, which is the unit of the energy, exactly what we want, okay? And the rest do the math there. So watch out, you do calculator right here. You should get 4.41 times 10 to negative 19, uh, three, six, six, four, uh, four, five, zero, right? Three, six, six. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's practice this together. So which web has higher in energy, all right, infrared or UV, the first one. Well, um, you might want to go, if you have the handout, print out the handout uh, that I gave you, you can look back to the chart, all right, there's a chart right here. All right, now, infrared is right here. The UV is on the other side. We have a visible light in the middle, right? So low energy and then high, higher in energy, UV, of course, UV. Okay, now next one, which one has higher energy, um, red light or the green light? Well, we have to look at the uh, the visible light, right? The green light is right here, the red is right here, so higher in energy and lower in energy right here. So green light. Now next one, a high frequency wave or the low frequency wave, what do you think? I'll give you a hint. Which one has higher in energy? High frequency or low frequency wave? High frequency, good. If, according to this equation, uh, the energy and the new, which is uh, frequency, they are directly proportional. High frequency, high in energy. Low frequency, low in energy, okay? So which one, so high frequency, high in, higher in energy? That's the answer. All right, last one. A wave with a longer wavelength or one with a shorter wavelength? 
look at the, this uh, uh, um, this equation, right? So en energy and wavelength um, are the conversely proportional. High wavelength, so it's long. It's really difficult to uh, to vibrate. So vibrate slow, low energy. You know that? So the shorter wavelength is quick one. There we go. All right, so quick one is, has a higher in energy. All right, okay, so, so far so good. All right, so I'm, I'm sure, uh, I'm hoping that you guys are following me well. If you are not sure, if you are confused, especially the calculation, let me know, send me an email. We can Zoom, we can go over this together, okay? All right, do you guys like Walt Disney? Most of us grow up with Walt Disney, with Disney, we watch all the Disney cartoon, all right? Uh, but the, the, the Disney cartoon I'm, not, I'm gonna talk about today is what happened if the uh, the Disney prin prince or princess princess um, get real in real life, right? Uh, you prob you will probably remember the iconic scene in Aladdin. So I just mean uh, uh, an Aladdin um, uh, flying on a magic carpet, go on the ride together, right? And uh, I mean everything looks looks beautiful, of course, right? But in reality, the after or maybe during the flying, there's a there's they're supposed to look like that. There's no wind chill, and the 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 wind just blow her uh, blow blow their hair. They're not gonna look like pretty as like Disney pretty. <laughs> no, all right, this kind of get real. All right, Sleeping Beauty when she every time when she wake uh, when she wakes up, she always looks uh, looks pretty. Well, come on, it just act just in real life. Have we ever uh, ever looked great when we wake up? No, no, no. In real, in real life, you might look like that. <laughs> oh no, Ariel, the iconic scene right there, right? <clears throat> so, um, well, Ariel has a makeup on. I don't know how how it works. Makeup and water. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in there. But uh, if this uh, become a reality, she should look like that. Oh, the mascara coming out. <laughs> um, and the last one, Mulan. If you probably rem remember this iconic scene as well, when she sings a song and then she's wipe off her face and makeup comes off right away. Look at that. That's no, that's unreal. How could you just wipe off? Just like use your clothes like that. Uh, I well, I never use makeup, so I don't know. But I think you need uh, like the, the makeup remover. I, I don't know what's it called. It. Prob I anyway. So I mean, it's kind kind of a difficult to remove the makeup right and uh if this were to be in real life use the cloth to just re remove her makeup she should look like that <laughs> it's not easy to remove the makeup man <laughs> all right let's go to the next video